Zach King here with FinalCutKing.com, and I've got week two in question and answers for Final Cut Pro. I've got five questions today I'm going to be going over from you guys that you asked me. So from SugarCookie042204, he says, how can you hear sound while scrubbing? Well, I get this question a lot. It's a simple key command. If I'm here in my sequence, and I'm going to turn up the volume, right now when I'm scrubbing through like this, this is scrubbing going through my viewer or timeline or whatever, but if I hit Shift S, you can hear I'm previewing as I scrub. So that can be done in any window, the viewer, the canvas, the timeline. Shift S is your key command. Or you can come up to your view menu and make sure that audio scrubbing is checked. There's the key command, Shift S. Okay, number two, Trevor Jake C asks, this might be random, but what Mac do you have? Because I'm thinking of getting a Mac, so let me show you what Mac I have. I can just show you right now. I have uh, I have a couple different Macs I use. I have the old MacBook Pro. Right now I have the newest one. And here's my specs. I got a processor memory of 8 gigs. So I also have a tower and I have 16 gigs of RAM on that guy. Um, so I kind of worked that one more on the graphics. And I also have a really old PowerBook G4 that I don't use except for internet surfing. But I highly recommend you do get a Mac because um, this is kind of, for me, the creative side PC I can't be creative on. But you know, nothing against Avid, just I like Final Cut better. Okay, question number three, drop frames. Jose from Facebook asked, frame dropping problems, how can I fix this? Okay, okay, Jose, if your frames are dropping, here's what's going on for you guys. Basically, the key problem is not your footage and where it's stored, it's where your actual render files are stored. You need to get an external drive, have your render files set there, not on your actual disk. So the problem is really about your hard drive and not where the files are kept. I know I, that's a rumor that's out there. That's not true. You can fix it by getting an external drive that's quick, plug it into your computer, and then go ahead and watch. Also, if you're capturing and you're dropping frames, you can turn off that preference um, right here. And I've got that unchecked because I can't stand my footage quitting and aborting, so I uncheck these options. Question number four, installing fonts. Okay, I did a lesson on this, so right here, click this video if you have not seen the video on how to install fonts and a good place to find fonts. Click right here. And okay, number five, restoring to a default. Okay, if you lose your timeline or something like that, I get this question a lot, you know, I lost my viewer or my canvas. Well, if you lost your timeline specifically, go ahead and double click a sequence. If you don't have one, just right click, new sequence, and then double click it. Bam, your timeline's gonna come up, so there it's gone, and then double click, it's there. Voila, like magic. If you ever lose everything, though, just say you lose random things, you can go up to your window, arrange, and go back. I've got my own two up design that I like, but you can go back to a standard layout, Final Cut Pro, and then there you go. So that's your window layouts up here in arrange. I got my two up. So there's five Final Cut Pro question and answers. Again, hit me up. Email me, inbox me, and become a fan on my Facebook page. You can ask questions there, and I can respond sometimes on the wall. It's a lot easier. So go ahead and like my Facebook page, Final Cut King. I'll see you guys later. Zach King from FinalCutKing.com. I'll see you next week.